Hello, I would like to welcome you to this training course presentation of the SAB Materials Management, Purchasing and Material Master for Beginners. My name is Munir Karain and I will be your instructor for this course. In this first lesson, I will show you how to create the Material Master Record. The Material Master Record can be created in a number of different ways. And the most common way for a material master record to be created is using transaction MM01. So let's begin by navigating the SAB menu. Go first to logistics. Go to materials management. Go to material master. Then go to material and then click on create general uh, transaction mm01 will be used in this lesson to create the material master part number to start this transaction go ahead and double click on mm01 immediately The create material initial screen is displayed showing the required field to create the material master record. The material master record is where all information on a material is entered and accessed from uh, different departments. Departments such as stores, accounting and plan. So let's begin by entering in the required information. First field is material. This field will be left blank for internal numbering. Uh, industry sector. The industry sector determines the branch of uh, industry to which the material is assigned to. In another word, uh, the industry sector has to be assigned to each material master record added. For this lesson, we are going to select uh, the industry sector as mechanical engineering okay the next field is material type uh, you must enter a defined material type or a user defined material type uh, material type is a group of materials uh, with similar attributes uh, some companies might decide to create their own material types. All depends on the type of business you are in. Um, here are some of the material type that comes with SAP predefined and can be used without having to configure any material new or any new material type. Uh, so we have for example uh, finished goods uh, there is also something called um, semi-finished goods, also raw material. Uh, we have also pipeline material. We have trading goods. For this lesson, I'm going to select uh, finished goods. Change number. Uh, this is an optional field. You will enter a change number if the client is using engineering change management. Uh, copy from material is also an optional field. It allows you to create and modify copy of an existing material master record. Before you uh, click on the continue icon, make sure that all required fields are correctly filled. So let's then now go ahead and click on the continue icon. Go to the next screen. The select views dialog box opens. Keep in mind that the material master record stored in different views. And users can then decide in which view they want the information to be entered. The first two views are basic data one, basic data two. Uh, basic data 1 and 2 are general material data such as base unit of measure, weight, weight unit. 
for example pounds kilograms and the next one we're going to talk about is purchasing purchasing data or purchasing view is used when the material is purchased so you have for example shipping instruction delivery period etc foreign trade import data are used for material that has been exported or imported you have to specify the commod commodity code harmonized code and schedule B for export and country for region the next uh, views are the general plan data storage one and two basically uh, they are storage information of material like storage location storage bin as maximum storage period shelf life data of the material and so on accounting uh, valuation and price data needed for inventory transactions like price unit, price control, uh, moving average price. There are also other uh, views like quality management view, basically information related to inspection of material, inspection interval, inspection setup such as good receipt inspection and stock transfer inspection. Uh, another view is the MPR view, the required information for the material requirement planning. The material can be procured from a supplier or can be manufactured in-house or could be manufactured and purchased as well. For this lesson, I'm going to select uh, basic data one and click the continue icon. The create material 216 finished product screen is displayed. Also note that the basic data 1 tab is selected. The material number created is 216. Let's click on the material description to input the description for that material number and let's enter filter for this lesson and press the tab key in the base unit let's click on the drop down search icon to see the list of base unit and we'll go scroll down and we will select pieces double click or click on the continue icon to confirm press the tab key go to material group the material group is assigned to each material when it is created let's click on the drop down field to select the material group The material group is a group that classifies material by commodity or service type. We have here the material group dialog opens. You can sort the material group numbers or the material group description. Click on the heading of the material group description to sort the material group description and scroll down to select or I will select for this lesson centrifugal pump click confirm click on the product hierarchy to select the hierarchy alphanumeric character so let's click on the drop down search button and select the first one machines the product hierarchy field is an alphanumeric character string that 
groups together materials by combining different characteristics. Keep in mind that the product hierarchy field is an alphanumeric character string that groups together materials by combining different characteristics. So as we said first, we select 00100 machines, then uh, click next level button and select component 00105, just click on it and then take this up here and go ahead again and select next level take this up here again and for the next level we're gonna select another subgroup uh, which is 00000110 bearings and then click choose the result of the selections I made is the following product hierarchy in the gross weight field type let's type uh, 6 and then press tab key uh, the weight unit let's click on the search icon and choose pound choose also kilogram and then confirm uh, net weight we're gonna put 5 dimension if it's known you enter it you enter three dimensions put 10 by 20 example by 8 click the additional data button in the language field Let's click the drop down search icon and select uh, ES for Spanish. Click to confirm. The material description field type filtro and then press the tab key. Please keep in mind that material description can be created in different languages. Click now on Units of Measure tab. If the material can be purchased in different base unit of measure, for example, six units in each box, type in the X field one, then press the tab key in the uh, alternate unit of measure let's click the search icon drop down uh, you have a list of um, different alternative unit of measures let's select uh, box card box cardboard box confirm click then the tab key um, in the Y field type 6 and then press the tab key. SAP automatically will make the calculations and convert the box to the base unit of measure which is unit. We have entered all the required fields to create the material part number. Let's save our work by clicking on the save icon. Notice the status bar at the bottom of the screen showing a confirmation message that material number 216 has been created. This brings us to the end of this lesson and how to create the material part number. Please review the quiz included with this lesson and if you can't answer some of the questions or don't remember some of the material, go back and review the material one more time.